A couple of weeks ago, a review of Peter Thomas Roth's Instant Firm Eye Serum popped up on my YouTube recommendations and I found myself mesmerised as I watched the reviewer putting it to the test and then revealing her results. She thought it gave her skin a visible lift but struggled a bit with the white residue that it left behind. Then I was reading a column by one of my favourite journalists and beauty writers, India Knight, and she was talking about how much she loved this instant firming beauty shot by Ren. The headline read, I found a miracle serum that gives instant results. Obviously, I ordered it on the spot. I'm always looking for ways to tighten my skin and lift my eyelids in particular, so anything that promises visible results I'm all over like a hot rash. Then I notice ads on social media for these little eyelid strips, which more or less prop your lids up and appear to give really dramatic results. So I wanted to give them a whirl too to see if we could find a clear winner. So in this video, I'm going to apply them all separately, of course, and then share uh, my results and my verdict with you. So let's start with this Instant Firmex Eye Serum from Peter Thomas Roth. At the time of filming, it's £65 for 30 millilitres on Amazon UK, but only $38 on Amazon US. So UK customers getting a bit of a raw deal there. Fortunately, you can get it just uh, for £32 on Look Fantastic, and I'm going to include links to the buying options in the description below. Looking at the reviews on Amazon, it averages four out of five stars with 3,700 ratings. So the vast majority of customers have had a positive experience using it. And if you cast an eye over some of the before and after pictures left by Amazon reviewers, there are some impressive lifting results going on around the under eye area in particular, but still quite a few reviews complaining about that white dry residue that it can leave behind. So what's in it? Well, there's glycerin, silica, including sodium silicate, which is an industrial chemical. It's a bit like the silicas used in these little gel pads that you can see in packaging to keep moisture away from products. And so it's going to have that gripping gel-like consistency and will dry and shrink on your skin. It also has retinal palmate, which is a gentle retinoid, so it's anti-aging. It's got peptides in there, also anti-aging. And among other things, there are a number of parabens. So overall, I'm not thrilled by the ingredient list. Certainly already I'm thinking I wouldn't be using this daily, but that is a personal choice. The idea is you put on a tiny amount on clean, dry skin, and then you wait for it to dry, which should give you that tightening effect coating and kind of masking the skin. Now the instructions say you can put uh, makeup on top or mix it with makeup, but a lot of the customer review reviews I've seen suggest that does lessen the effect. Once you put it on, you have to hold still and let it set without moving your face at all for between three to seven minutes. So you're letting it dry completely. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So let's take a look at how that worked out for me. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Instant Firmex. Instantly transforms the eye area, visibly tightens, firms and smooths the eye area to temporarily minimise the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines and deep wrinkles. That's what we want. While diminishing the look of under eye puffiness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it around the eyes. I've got clean, dry skin just out the shower. I'm going to apply it around the eyes and onto these lines up here, you know, and the idea is that we're wanting to see a little bit of a lift. So, got to shake it well first. Apply it sparingly, just a thin layer, and uh, leave it to dry over three to seven minutes. That's actually quite... <laughs> right, here we go. Around the eye area. There is no fragrance to this for anybody with sensitive skin. I used about a pea size amount and I'm gonna have to keep everything still now. I feel like there's really not much on there, but I can feel this tightening on my skin, particularly the under eye area. The idea behind staying completely still, not opening your eyes or using facial expressions for a few minutes is to let it set. Well, there I am after four minutes 
it feels completely dry. I cannot see a jot of difference. I mean, certainly I feel tightness under my eyes. I think noticing this before, what I have seen with this before is people with really noticeable bags. There was a little bit of an airbrushing effect um, as they put this layer over the skin. It kind of blurred it. I could see that, that people had had a visible effect with this. You know, my issue is more the upper lids and I've tried this a few times now with different ways and then applying makeup over the top and so on. Because you're opening and closing your eyes and there's so much movement on the upper lid, there's just nothing. You know, I mean, I could try applying a little bit more on the upper lid to see if that makes a difference, but I have never seen a difference with this. Let me just do this properly on my upper lids. I'm actually gonna do quite a thick layer, although I might have to deal with the residue just to see if I can get a lift with a thicker layer on my upper lid. And let's go quite big on the forehead as well. There's nothing at all with the upper eyes. I mean, that's really quite a thick layer. And let's see. I mean, you can see a clear shine from it. You can't see the white residue in this light. I have seen residue before in natural daylight. Um, but I think, you know, if it was something that really, really worked, the residue is something, possibly something you could, you could get over just by covering with makeup. Um or it suggests dampening. However, you know, for upper lids, it's just not strong enough to, to lift them. I would not call this a solution for um, upper eyelids. So next up is Ren's Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shop, which I bought for £38 on Amazon UK, and it's currently $62 on Amazon US. Product links are in the description. Its ingredients are a bit easier on the eye than the Peter Thomas Roth serum because this one is really hyaluronic acid and red algae with a couple of thickening agents and preservatives, but no parabens or silicates. It doesn't have nearly the number of reviews on Amazon as the other serum, but of nearly 200 ratings, the average score was 4.4 out of five, which is pretty high. One customer's before and after photos really caught my eye. She said the after picture was taken following two weeks of using the serum daily, applying it on her cleansed face and um, following it with moisturizer and makeup. And she said there was no residue. With this one, there's no waiting around for it to dry. It comes with a little pipette and you're supposed to pat not rub it into your skin. And you're using half a pipette over your face and then waiting for the magic to happen. So that's what I did. And let's see what the result was. Now with this one, you're applying two or three drops to a clean face. Now it's the upper eyes, it's the forehead. I'm looking to get a little bit of a, a lift from. When applying over makeup, gently pat your skin until absorbed, do not rub. Okay, so this is quite a gloopy little mixture. Um, you've got the pipette, we're applying two to three drops onto clean, dry skin. And then after that, apparently, you can just go ahead and use your makeup as normal. You're not to, you're to pat this over makeup, but it doesn't say anything about patting on normal skin. So I'm just doing a mixture of spreading and patching. Now this one, you don't have to hold still. There's just a very light, pleasant, gentle fragrance behind this one. Um, but I have reasonably sensitive skin um, and it is quite sensitized at the moment with uh, the retinoid that I'm using and um, I, it's not sticking at all and neither did the uh, Peter Thomas Roth. What I'm not seeing is much of a lift. What I'm potentially seeing a little bit more is rather than this feeling of a drying and tightening, it feels more like a kind of moisturizing coat that might improve the look of the skin. So bearing in mind, I've got no moisturizer on. It's not a visible enough difference for me to buy this routinely as a product. Um, but compared with the other one, it's less drying. So, you know, applying it to the eyes 
there's maybe some blurring of fine lines and more of a moisturising effect. No lifting. You know, I could not call this my miracle product. Finally, let's take a look at these eyelid stickers, which I bought after clicking on a social media ad and buying them from heimrabat.com for $20. And with shipping, the final cost was $26.48. I thought I'd ordered one pack, but actually two arrived, which was a bit of a bargain. And they come with plastic tweezers for applying and what appears to be 10 sheets of 12 sets and a spray bottle for putting water in to activate the glue on the stickers. The instructions are in Chinese, so I had no way of knowing how to use these at the point of delivery, but then I looked on the website and it said to wet the stickers with water, so that's how I guessed what the bottle is for. So these did give me an instant lift, so let's just take a look at how that worked out. Finally, let's go with these eyelid stickers. So they are actually pretty easy to use and um, the, the toughest thing was actually unpeeling that top layer of film to actually get to the stickers. Once you get, once you do that, you're stuck home and dry. Um, now there are no instructions at all with this. I've just got a little glass of water here so I'm just going to apply a bit of water to the back. There's a spray that comes with it that you could use to do this. Using these little um, tweezers here and getting water all over the back of it. That's what's going to make it stick. Okay. And let me just do one so you can see the contrast here. Now this is going to be difficult doing this on into a camera. Oh gosh. Where do I want to stick that? Sort of right on the... If you had a line there, you would be aiming to do it just on the line. This and patting it down. Now using this before Okay, so, I mean, there is there is actually quite the difference compared with the other lid, isn't there? I'm not sure that I have actually placed that in the best spot, though. Let me do the other one. There we are, that's on the second eye. I mean, you can see the lift possibly much more clearly on the second eye. I'm going to reapply this one here, see if I can get a cleaner lift. Okay, there we are. Now these do um, blend very well into the skin. You know, they are hard to see. If you put makeup on, your mascara, or whatever, I don't think people could tell. You can kind of feel it a little bit. You can feel like a little bit of mesh there, um, but not much. And so that has given my eyes a little bit more of a lift. The thing is that with age and because your skin is sagging, then it, it has to go somewhere. So it does kind of still tend to fold over these stickers. So I have some element of lift, particularly on this eye, but it's not necessarily as dramatic as you would want it to be. Comparing the three then, the one with the least dramatic result, the Ren Instant Firming Beauty Shot, is the only one I've actually continued to use, though I'm not sure I would buy it again. To me, it's just a good hyaluronic acid. It's quite nice for giving you a bit of a boost on a dry, tired skin day, but I didn't see a major difference. My biggest problem with the instant fixes like the Peter Thomas Roth Serum and the eyelid stickers is more about how they make you feel about yourself. Aside from the fact that I didn't actually think they worked brilliantly for my particular needs, where you get this instant but not lasting change, I think it encourages you to be constantly seeing and noticing that difference and creating this negative association between how you really are and how you look with these quick fixes. And I think that encourages you to become overly focused on one area and, um, and be unhappy with it. And it's kind of pushing you towards either changing it surgically or feeling really self-conscious and low about it. So I think it's far better to look at products, treatments, and devices that are gonna help long-term. The retinoids, the hyaluronic acid moisturizers, the things we know help refine and plumpen the skin. And that way, 
you can feel comfortable in your own skin and not have to look for props, which, you know, with these props, you're going to be a bit self-conscious about it in case the eyelid strips fall off or, or you can see the white of the, the instant silica serum showing through on your skin. That's really how I felt after trying out these different products. I'll continue to use the REN serum until it runs out because of its moisturizing hyaluronic acid properties, but I'm not going to use any of them beyond that. So I'd love to know if you've tried any of these products or similar ones because I do really enjoy hearing your experiences and your thoughts. So please leave these in the comments section for me. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos and reviews from my channel. And for expert advice on the latest anti-aging treatments and products, you can watch my series with leading specialists right here. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.